Computers keep changing the world, but their power and safety is limited by their rigid design. The T2 Tile project works for bigger and safer computing using living systems principles. Follow our progress here on T Tuesday Updates. Hey folks, this is the last T Tuesday update of 2021. And 2021, quite a year. Uh, I've seen some uh, old friends showing up uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in the YouTube live stream today. Thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, uh, I've got a, a bunch of stuff, and it's probably going to take way too long, so I'm going to try to go really, really fast. Uh, um, so the the short story, the science fiction short story that I made by cutting down chapter two of what was going to be the unbelievably long. <laughs> <laughs> three volume epic that I can never possibly have enough time to write is done. It, it's uh, just a hair under 4,500 words. So it's pretty tight. It's pretty short. It moves right along. Uh, I've had uh, one reader, uh, Elena read it. And the review is, you know, it's cute. I, I will take that, you know, uh, uh, Elena, not a, a big science fiction fan. So, all right. Uh, I talked last time about what to do about what to do about it, you know, send it to a magazine, send it to Analog, Fantasy and Science Fiction. I think I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to Asimov's magazine. Uh, apparently, you know, they're doing about as well as any of these things. I mean, I guess none of them are really all that big. Uh, and they have relatively fast turnaround. Like if they, have, if they haven't answered in a month and a half, I get to ping them and, and I probably will have heard before then. So I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. We'll see. Uh, um, here's the final path that it went through, uh, <laughs> you know, right at the end of November, big December, there was the giant cut and this was the really battling it out get that last little bit figure out how to fit in the you know so i mean like living computation foundation mentioned in the story uh like that so um, anyway so that's that um in addition uh, uh last time was talking about ringo the generalized distributed ring oscillator idea for synchronizing plates uh, um i the goal was to get uh, still to get uh, l2 plates moving around they're still not moving today but uh, I took a, a pretty important step towards it, and uh, so I want to just do a super quick demo of that. Let's see, that's this button? Yeah, all right. Uh, um, so, you know, the problem is, uh, all right, so we'll, we'll make a little, here's a little L1 plate, a little 3x3 three three thing. We're going to now blow it out to a, a L2 plate. Uh, uh, all right, now let's, uh-oh, what did I do? Uh I don't know what I did. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, uh, what I wanted was this. We'll get rid of the labels. Uh, um, okay, maybe actually we'll go oh, like that. Okay, let's see if this is still alive. Uh, um, yeah, all right. So it takes a little while to figure out what's going on here, but the idea is uh, in order to move an L2 plate, you have to move the L1 plates, you, you know, or the, this is an L2 site, this whole little thing, which is made up of a bunch of individual atoms and so forth. So really what I needed was two ring oscillators going through each atom at once. One ring oscillator that's controlling over the entire L2 plate from beginning to end, and the other one which is going just within each little L2 site, so the L2 site can tell, have I finished moving my one little bump and so forth. So this took a lot of refactoring. This is uh, the L2 whole plate uh, cycling while each individual little uh, L2 site is also cycling within it. It looks kind of pretty. All right, so that's that. Uh, um, and all right, and the main point that I was supposed to end this year, uh, uh, I was, well, I was supposed to build the grid. I was supposed to finish the whole grid, and that, that hasn't happened. But um, for just this time, I was supposed to build at least one tile. And in fact, I think I've built like four five and I uh, ran out of uh, the little aluminum heat sinks that I was using on the thing. Um, so, but I've got more of them coming in uh, that I lucked out that they were available given the whole supply chain business these days. Um, I think uh, enough of them to probably finish uh, however many tiles we'll be able to do, 140 or something, 150. We, I don't know if we'll get that far. We'll see uh, uh, before we run out of something. But, uh, I made a new uh, flash image, a new image to flash the disks with that has all the latest stuff in it and all caught up. That was a huge pain in the ass. Uh, I made a bunch of new tiles, a few new tiles, and what I wanted to do, and this is the scary part, uh, uh, is try to assemble a tile live right here now, and, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, uh, all right, so that's this button. Uh, are we? Okay.
okay we're actually sort of theoretical working here uh this is my little webcam which i don't know uh it tends to hunt on the focus so we'll just see how this all goes so step one uh we are going to be making tile g247 uh right now because i already put it in the data sheet in the uh, spreadsheet so we will mark it and the back of the circuit board has an express place right there where the uh, information like that is supposed to go. Now, of course, uh, uh, people know uh, <laughs> that th this is an in indefinite scalability violation right there because, you know, there's tiles are all supposed to be like completely interchangeable grains of sand. I'm cheating for debugging purposes. Well, I get what I pay for. Uh, uh, all right, and so first step one is to put on the back cover, the back cover, which covers up all the little exposed solder points here if we're doing well, has a little hole so that we can see it through. I used to have to screw this down with screws, but then the improved thing is uh, we can just do it using the brass standoffs, which we use, we're going to use to attach the beagle bone green uh, later on. Now, one thing that's just generally true here is that uh you know this thing is completely over assembled i mean uh i put in the the cpu the beagle bone green the process unit uh, uh and i screw it down and the, you know it's got 96 pins connecting it to the thing so there's really absolutely no way that the beagle bone green is going to vibrate loose or fall out of uh, um the off the pins and yet i screw it down anyway because, you know, the point not that it works efficiently, the point is it works at all. So, yeah, just like the first VCRs, absolutely built like a tank because they didn't know any better. That's what we're doing here. We just uh, belt and suspenders and then maybe another belt on another pair of suspenders. Uh, uh, so, these are our brass standoffs. Uh, we want to get them down snug, but uh, have to avoid uh, stripping the back plate because... Uh, you know, that's just going straight into uh, PLA, straight into plastic from the 3D printer. Uh, uh, so there we go. And okay. All right. Now we need our Beagle Bone. Uh, here it is. Now, <clears throat> I have already put, this is the, uh, the heat sink, which I have now run out of, but more coming in. Uh, I don't know how much it good it really does. Well, I think it does a little bit of good. The problem is, is once these things are all packed together and put into the case, they're pretty tight. So now, have I forgotten anything that goes before this? I don't think so. So let's go for it. So you see, here's the Ethernet thing is going to fit in that hole. We got to get them lined up right. All right, that looks that looks about right. Of course. The one of the good things about having the brass standoffs is that if we get the pins offline, it won't, uh, won't be able to screw the pins into it. So it's a little bit of a hint. All right. So now we have our cheese head Phillips uh -oh, to put these things down on. And you know, like I'm thrilled I haven't screwed up yet. Uh -oh, like that. Uh, at least, hopefully. Is it is it staying in focus? Uh -uh. We're lucky, if so. Uh -uh. And these uh, brass standoffs actually do take part in grounding the uh, beagle bone green into the circuit board, although there are plenty of other grounds through. So it's not anything really critical. All right. So I think we're there. All right. Let's get this one. All right. So that's that. Next stop is to put on the display. And here's the display. It's already been selected and recorded in the spreadsheet. You know, every one of these Beagle Bone Greens, I don't have it here, comes with a little six inch USB, you know, micro B to A <laughs> cable that are, I just have them piling up all over the place. And every uh, LCD panel comes with a little stylus, so I have them piling up all over the place, not quite managing to do, you know, tip to tail uh, <laughs> construction of these tiles. All right, so the, 
the LCD goes on this other little header right here, like that. And I think that's pretty good. Now, uh, uh, oh, did I forget to bring, <laughs> oh no, I've got to go run and get a cover. Uh, uh, I'll be back in one sec. Uh, uh, ooh, we can listen to the music, how about that? Uh, uh, nuts all right are we still alive we've lost me well screw it but we as long as we can still see I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this so here we got to the north and then the other trick is the, the case screws, they screw into the feet, uh, and, and these <laughs> the the feet that were designed to connect into the, whoops, the frames that go in the back. Uh, um, so we got four feet, and, and they're going to, each one is going to go into one of these, and then the main case screws goes through it all the way, and it was a huge pain in the butt to get them until, <laughs> until it made this thing. So this is, I call it the speed frame. Because all you got to do is stick the feet into the frame so that, and it's got a little hex. Uh, it's essentially four wrenches in one. Oh, that's a great sound. Uh, um, and then we get our long hex head. Uh, uh, yeah, and we should be able to start. First. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One more step. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, I don't know what it is, but uh, I've got some kind of static problem or something. One of the things about being in a dry climate, it's good for a lot of stuff, but it's bad for static. And it's like whenever I move, the USB, the my the main USB camera on me seems to freeze up, and I don't know why. Uh, uh, and <laughs> the way I solve that is by not moving. Uh, uh, but that was not an option um, here today because I forgot the part. Are we in there yet? Okay, and so these things, I mean, as, as if this is training so that we can all make T2 tiles one day in the future, uh, uh, the way this worked out, the uh, screws uh, need not to be su too super tight or else uh, I discovered that they will actually flex the circuit board a little bit and have caused a little bit of problems from time. So once we get them screwed in, we pop the speed thing off and then we just check that one is still a little tight. This one is okay. That one's a little tight. Okay. And that one's all a little tight. Well, hopefully I didn't mess anything up. All right. And that is basically it. So now if we can find a more power supply here, we can check to see if this is actually going to work. Uh -uh. just some way I could reset the dang <sighs> I don't think I can I think I've been down this road before uh, uh, so 
it's just going to be uh, uh, voiceover uh, till we get to the end. Um, but you know, it's step by step. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's frozen. Uh, uh, okay, but in any event, uh, um, this thing is going to boot. It still takes about 90 seconds. Uh, um, but if we're lucky, uh, uh, it should come up cleanly. I had to, well, you know, there, there's all kinds of details, of course. Uh, this The process that I'm assembling is actually a fair bit different than um, what was, uh, so, you know, there, I, I built a tile. All right, here we go. There's the Linux. We have a new uh what test pattern that comes up first which i started using for color grading uh when i'm shooting with the the fuji to try to uh, actually get more accurate color than what <laughs> looks like the webcam is producing for us uh, um and so we get something like 15 seconds of that whatever it is and then the engine starts up um and out of the box it's running you know, hugene because uh, that's uh, always a favorite uh, come on, you can do it. Uh, uh, and mm, yeah, okay. Uh, um, so that's it. So this is G two four seven in the the new G series of tiles. Uh, um, I you know so that gives you a little bit of a sense um, of how long it takes. Uh, unfortunately, the slowest part of it is the uh, flashing the software. Um, the good thing about that is if I work hard enough and, and just work hard enough, if I just figure out, a, you know, a suitable number of USB adapters and so forth, I could actually uh, do that in parallel. Uh, um, and... Do it like the way I did here, which is, uh, you know, just get the beagle bone uh ready to go get the fire get it all flashed and put it back in the box with its information on it and so forth and then the assembly goes much quicker because here it is uh, uh so here's our little feet that go into the frame that holds it all up uh, um boom there it is okay uh, well, you see, this ought to be me. I mean, you can actually see my chair. I, I think it's the exact moment that it died. Uh, um, in any event, so be it. Uh, happy holidays. <laughs> happy New Year. 2022. I don't know. It's all unbelievable. Uh, uh, I will be back in two weeks. Uh, uh, my goal is to get through 2021 okay. I actually have had a little bit of fun, and that's like a good thing to do. Uh, um, and now that I have refreshed all this, I, I want to knock them out. I, I, I want to, you know, I, I should be able to do uh, uh, a half a dozen a day without uh, even really cramping too much. So we will see what we will see. Um, and I'm going to stop there. So thank you for coming by. Uh, and, uh, I hope to see y'all again soon. I'm going to go over to the chat room and see if anybody's still around. Uh, uh, thanks for coming by.